Hi there, this is Ruben from Dutch Round 1. Thanks again for coming by. Thanks for watching another episode. As always, I appreciate your support and I appreciate your time. Today we have another vocabulary lesson, uh, traffic-wise. Uh, so if you're studying for your driver's uh, license in the Netherlands or Belgium, this might be useful for you or just general uh, vocabulary. But before we do that, remember to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, if you want uh, more content and let me know in the comments if this is useful for you or not. Uh, but without much further ado, let's go straight for our exercise. All right, so basically we start off with the word, the Dutch word for traffic, and that would be het verkeer, that would be the traffic. As you can see, you will always see the article hut or the, because I know in Dutch this is quite difficult. If you want more explanation regarding when to use the article the or the article hut, please click the following link uh, and I made a lesson about it in order to make your life a little bit easier. But I do recommend you, if you learn new vocabulary, learn also the article. Learn whether it goes by hut or whether it goes by the. All right, so het verkeer, that would be the traffic. We go to the next one, and the next one is de voorrang. Voorrang is the priority. Priority to the right, priority to the left, and so on. So de voorrang, that would be the priority. All right, before we continue with the word uh, rechts, um, I recently discovered the site which is called Buy Me A Coffee. Um, so basically, if you want to buy me a coffee, you'll find the link in the description below. If not, no problem. If you do, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it because it keeps me nice and fresh to make these videos. All right, so rechts means uh, right. And then of course, links will be left. All right, voorrang van rechts, priority to the right. Uh, voorrang van links, priority to the left. All right, we continue. And then we have recht door and recht door that will be straight or straight ahead. Okay, recht door is straight or straight ahead. We continue and then we have achteruit. Achteruit, that would be backwards. Okay, driving backwards in Dutch would be achteruit rijden. We continue and then of course the traffic light. The traffic light would be het verkeerslicht. All right, so het verkeer, the traffic light would be a light. So of course the traffic light is het verkeerslicht. We continue and the intersection in Dutch is het kruispunt. Literally, if you would translate it literally in bad English, it would be the crossing point. Het kruispunt would be the intersection. We continue and then we have oversteken. Oversteken, that would be to cross. And in this case, we're speaking about traffic. So that would be to cross the road. The straat oversteken, that would be to cross the road. We continue and then of course the sidewalk, that would be het voetpad. Okay, het voetpad, that would be your sidewalk. And of course, if you live in the Netherlands and if you live in Belgium, then of course, you know this word, het fietspad, very popular, especially in the Netherlands, but also in Belgium, that would be the cycling lane. All right, so het fietspad, het fietspad would be the cycling lane. We continue and then of course het treinspoor of the treinsporen, sometimes uh, you'll see it in plural too, that would be the train track or the railroad. Het treinspoor, that is your train track or the railroad. We continue and then of course we have het ongeluk. Het ongeluk is the accident. Um, if there's an accident in traffic, then we speak about een verkeersongeluk, a traffic accident. We continue and then most of the time when there's an accident and there's a collision and in Dutch we call that the botsing, all right? Do bear in mind the pronunciation, the N and the G at the end are pronounced exactly the same like in English, wing, sing, thing, the botsing, right? We continue and then we have the traffic sign and the traffic sign that would be het verkeersbord, right? We continue and then of course we have het zebra pad, which is quite an original word. It actually means the zebra path or in English it would be the pedestrian crossing. But het zebra pad in Dutch, that is your pedestrian crossing. Right, we continue and then we have de brug. De brug, that would be the bridge, right? De brug, de bridge. We continue and then of course, uh, quite important if you're driving especially a motorcycle or a car, it's important to know what the speed or the speed limit is and the speed that would be the snelheid, right? 
And then, of course, sometimes when you go too fast, you have to break. And to break in Dutch is remmen. Remmen is to break. We continue. If a car in front of you is driving a little bit slower than you are, well, you can overtake that car. And in Dutch, we call that inhalen. Inhalen is a separable verb. If you're not really 100% sure what a separable verb is, no problem. Just click the following link. And I made a video about it. I made a video on how to conjugate them, when to use them, how to use them, and so on. So it might be useful for you. All right, then we continue. And if you drive too fast, well, of course, you get a fine or a traffic fine. And that would be de boete. All right, de boete, that would be your traffic fine. And of course, there's a speed limit on many roads, and that would be the snelheid limit. That would be your speed limit. The snelheid limit. That is the speed limit. We continue, and then of course, the highway or the motorway. That would be the auto snelweg. The auto snelweg is the highway or the motorway. We continue, and then this one is a little bit difficult to translate literally. Uh, in uh, English, however, the babau, the com, is a word which you will see a lot if you're studying for your driver's license because it has something to do with speed limits. Um, inside of that urban area, the babau, the com, you have to reduce uh, your speed. So the urban area in Dutch we call the babau, the com. And then we continue, and then of course uh, that's not at very pleasant, but sometimes you're in a traffic jam, and we call that de file. De file, that would be the traffic jam. All right, so these were the 25 words for today. A bit of new vocabulary may be useful if you are studying for your uh, driver's license. I want to thank you again for watching. Don't forget uh, to like uh, if you like this content. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want more and let me know in the comments if this is useful for you or not. I want to thank you again for watching. I wish you a great rest of the day and stay tuned for another episode of Dutch Round 1. Ciao!